Well, the start of the new year means the holiday season is, yes, officially over. But if you still have some gifts under the tree or maybe just on the side <laughs> in a pile and that you do not want or need, you are not allowed. Those return lines in the stores, you've probably seen them very long these days. The coupon contessa Nora Capshi is here with tips to help us tackle store returns, gift cards, and budgets in 2020. And let's face it, the retail business is booming in the holidays. And it then is. in January, a lot of people are left with things they they don't really want. You know, every once in a while you'll get that thing that maybe isn't quite your style or is not the right fit. Mm -hmm. So you can bring those back to the store even without a gift receipt. If you have a gift receipt, then you're all set. But most large retailers will take that back without a receipt But they at give all. you store credit though, right? They do give you store credit. So you got to be really careful with that because you don't want to get $5 store credit for a $60 item because normally they will scan it and say, okay, this sold at the lowest price during our holiday season oh, yeah. for this amount. So we're going to give you that. So you really got to be careful with that, but you know, in the long run, you're still going to get the store credit. You're still going to get to be able to return that item and get something new. You know, what would you, how would you suggest navigating without that receipt? I mean, I had something recently to, to an exchange where I didn't have a, uh, a gift receipt. Yes. Well, it's easy to go into different stores because the policies are a little bit different. Um, some, like Macy's, will give you the money back right there on the spot. Okay. Um, you know, like JCPenney or Kohl's will make sure that you have a store credit for that as well. So it's really, it depends on what you want to get from that item. Right. No sense hanging on to something you're never going to use, right? Well, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay. You might want to re-gift that maybe. Okay. Um, okay. But that's Very. another option. <laughs> now, let's say someone is stuck with a gift card. They've tried returning to a store. They can't get cash back. They're stuck with a gift card to a store. Maybe they're not crazy about. You say that using Facebook could be a great remedy okay. for this. That is your best option because you're going to get that same value. Like, like if you have a Target $50 gift card, then you might want to trade it for a Home Depot $50 gift card. You'll find those kind of like-minded people on your local Facebook group. Just like a neighborhood you, Facebook page? Yes, yes, you can trade with them. And then that way you get the same val value. When you go online to try to sell a gift card, that same $50 Target gift card can be sold from $35 to $40. So you're losing a lot of of money yeah. that way and you want to make sure if you're selling it online that you go through a credible site yeah and that you read the reviews do a little bit of research okay I like that um, let's talk about the ever popular regifting <laughs> okay I know this is controversial it but is but I feel like sometimes if you're not going to use it and it's not opened perhaps the regifting situation yeah. can work okay a family member, I'm not going to call her out, mm. she has a you just great did. closet <laughs> and a shelf that she puts on the gifts that she does not think that she's going to use. Right. And she will take a sticky note, put it on the item so she knows where it comes from. Okay? Oh. So that this week she's not re <laughs> So she doesn't it give it back to the person who gave it to her? in the same circle. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. okay, see? So it's like if she had gone out and bought a new item and that she's gifting it to someone else. Yeah, don't open so, it and think you're going to use it and then no. try to give it to somebody. No, no, no these are new, new items that you yeah. know from the beginning. I'm not really going to use that item. It's really not my style or right. I just don't think that it'll fit within, you know, my personal space. So I take this and make sure that, you know, she, she it's a really good system for her. Well, yeah. it's good that she really marks is. on there who gave the gift. So you're technically, you know, not creating this revolving door of that gift going She's back and forth. She's thought this through. <laughs> and I have to say, this is a great little, you know, thing to reuse your items, not to buy more because we're all about that this year. Use what you have instead of going out and spending your money on something different. Right. I also you think know? it's okay to just be upfront about regifting and say, hey, Courtney, I got, this. I got this candle. I think it smells like garbage. Do you want it? Right? <laughs> or maybe not using I, the... I well, love, maybe a little bit. Garbage smelling candles. <laughs> garbage smelling candles are my favorite. Thank but, you. Or, or like, I like pumpkin spice candles. If somebody has a vanilla candle... There you go. They're like, oh, well, would you like to have this instead? Yeah. Or, or I ha got this perfume. Yes. I'm not loving it. Would yes. you like it? Do you like the scent? Yes, that I think that's great. <laughs> and those are all reasonable expectations for us to do within our circle of friends. Okay. Totally. Well, let's talk yeah. about saving because one of the big things besides getting in shape, we want to save money in the mm -hmm. year. Oh, yes. Okay. So the easy...
easiest way to do that is when you're shopping online and you're buying those new products, go through sites like Rakuten, which used to be eBay. All right. Yes. I know. We're fans of this Ibotta, one. Ibotta, and it's a free you know, app or you can use it, even use it in the store itself. You mm -hmm. sign up, you get an account. When you want to purchase something, you go through their site and it connects you through to the shopping shop that you want to go to. And right now they're having a double double. If you say, and anything from like Macy's is 6% back cash back and it used to be 2% cash back. Mm -hmm. So, and 10%, you know, at other places. So it's really a great way to just create that money, well, that money you, in your pocket. Yes, and I do feel like yeah. the first time I found out about it, I'm like, there's got to be something off about it. Did I this. tell you about it? You did. Yeah. 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 But I love it. I love it. I love it. Sometimes I just have to be reminded to go through I that. I use it platform. all the time. Hundreds of dollars hard. we've gotten back from it. See, and that's great. And the other ways to save, too, if you have other things, uh, if you want to do uh, consignment shops or resale, shop there, sell your clothes, that kind of thing. Right. Resale is such a big thing coming up in this next year. Um, everybody really, really wants to have those vintage items, those things that just you can't buy right in the store right now. Right. They want to have that unique feeling about it's those It's a great things. way to save money for mm -hmm. sure. Nora, always great to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much for tackling this. By the way, we're going to share more of Nora's tips on our website.